Hey, what's up guys? It's Wizard Hunter here, and today I'm going to be showing you the 21 new skins that came out for us this week. Now, we're going to start off with the Aircraft Parts Refrigerator. And this skin, I thought, wasn't going to be that cool, but there is one part of it I do like. You know, it looks pretty simplistic. It just has some black and yellow lines around it, and looks like a bunch of different parts of a plane, you know, put together. But when you turn it to night... Look at that. It has a little glowing uh, effect on the top and bottom. And, you know, it looks pretty nice, but I kind of wish it had some on the back too, but it's only on the front and top. Next up, we have the Army to Armored Gloves, and these look nasty. They look, it's basically just wearing brass knuckles on your hand. Um, and I think these would look great with the, you know, Army to Armored clothes we got last week. Uh, they look just the same, same color with the little pieces of metal all over. And yeah, it's just a pretty cool skin if you want to be camouflaged with uh, some armored look to it. Now for this next skin, it's called the Rust Punk Vending Machine, but on the store it's called Brass Vending Machine. So I think Face Punch, you know, just changed the name um, to what they thought it looked like more. And oh, this one, this one's got some serious bling. And you know, it just looks really fancy and antique. I really think a lot of people are going to appreciate this skin. For all the detail that went into it like every coil inside looks like a chain that's just you know going through the machine and all the little detail and artwork just looks really well done and I have to get props to Xtab for putting so much detail and hard work into this skin this next skin is for all the crossbow lovers out there and it's called the chrome crossbow and it's basically what it says it's a crossbow with a chrome finish and it has like this black leatherish material on on the handle areas and then on the front of the bow and it just looks factory new clean looking at this bow from the first person perspective it kind of looks a bit strange because this crossbow skin is supposed to make it look brand new but then the front of the crossbow has all these little dent areas and this looks really strange so that's something to think about the next skin is for the armored door and it's called the clockwork portal and it has all these intricate cool looking designs that just look like the inside of a clock and to be honest my favorite part is the little door hatch area where you can peek through and it kind of looks like a little sun going over the horizon and that's probably the reason I'm gonna get this skin just because I like that here's the back of the armor door and I actually think this side looks a bit better because I just like the way it's building outward and it starts small and goes big it looks pretty cool to me are you planning to electrocute people in your base when they add electricity finally to rust well, this item is for you. It's called the Danger Chair. And it looks like the place where they execute people in a prison. And it has all these black and yellow stripes on it to indicate electricity or danger. And I just love it. It just looks all worn down. And I really think a lot of people are going to use this skin for their torture chambers and such. This next skin is called a Frostbitten Revolver. And it's just basically a frozen revolver. And just looking at it right now, actually, the front barrel looks like it's like overflowed with ice so like if you shoot it it's just it, the gun's gonna explode i don't know it just looks a bit strange to me and also like how is the chamber gonna move when it's frozen solid i i don't know it's just a it's a pretty cool looking skin i think and anyone that's looking you know for more camouflage with their revolver in the snowy regions are probably gonna get this skin so they can you know have that extra bit of self advantage this skin is for the bucket helmet and it's called the graffiti bucket helmet and it just has, you know, graffiti artwork all over it. Um, but I'm just going to start off just saying that I think this skin could have been a lot better and, you know, had a lot more interesting graffiti. Because, like, at right now, it, it really does just look like um, a random, like, street area with a bunch of graffiti. I feel like they should have took the graffiti aspect of it and actually put some, like, really good graffiti on it. Like... Um, you know some beautiful artwork or something like most of this is just like gang symbols and uh, like letters and you know there is like a woman on the back but other than that um, it's just all kind of jumbly mess so next up we have the hazard semi-auto rifle and I really dig this skin I really like all the yellow areas because it just makes the gun pop um, which is you know a bad thing for some people but um, for me, it looks really nice, and I like the little crackling areas it has. I don't know why, but this gun just gives me like a retro feeling, kind of. And it, like, it makes me feel and think of like a paintball gun for some reason. So, I don't know, but tell me what you guys think. The next skin is called a Kreis, or Kreis? I don't really know how to say it. 
But this skin looks like the weapon that those Mongolian motherfuckers in Mulan used, and I think it looks really cool. I really think a lot of people are gonna buy this skin just because how savage it looks. And I think everyone's also gonna like that little bit of touch of those diamonds at the bottom. Like, I like I like how they're like, hmm, well, we got a giant swirly sword, but you, I think we need a little bit of bling. So I really like that. Now, this next skin is called Metal Roses Short Sword. And it's just, oh, it's making me cream. I thought the last sword was cool, but this one's even, like, cooler. I just love all the little roses and flowers inside of it. It just, oh, it looks so cool. Like, the amount of detail in this sword is amazing. And I, I don't know. I, I don't know which one's going to be more popular, this or the last one, but I, I'm definitely getting both of them. And there's, like, little worms and other creatures in there. Like, it's just like a little garden ecosystem in your sword. It's really awesome. The next skin we got is for the table, and it's called Off the Grid. And I don't know why, but I really like this skin. I just like the how simple it is, and it's just got, you know, a bunch of little artwork papers on it. And it says Top Secret Keck. It has a hangman that says SOS, and it has some maps and blueprints. Um, I don't know. I don't think too many people are going to dig this skin. It is a bit simple, and I already looked at the bottom of it just because I wanted to see. And it's just like, it's the same thing. I thought that was really strange. Like, it's not just, you know, gray. It's... it's the other side now the next skin we got is called the outlaw head wrap it's a pretty simple skin it's really just black cloth with red lines on it but it does look pretty intimidating so I think a lot of people are gonna dig it and also anyone that wants to be a ninja will probably wear it <laughs> now this next skin is probably gonna be one of my favorite rust skins of all time and it's called the panda rug and to be honest, I expected a skin like this to come out. I just didn't expect it so fast after the rug came out. And I don't know, just everything about it I love. It's a freaking panda. What can you not like about it? Next up, we have the PVC hat. And this one is <laughs> very simplistic. Probably the most simplistic skin today. And it's just, you know, a PVC hat, just what it says. Um, I don't know. I think a lot of people are actually going to like it just because how, you know, silly it looks. But other than that, um, I probably won't be getting this. It probably will be the only skin I don't get this week. Just because I normally don't wear hats in general in Rust because they don't give any um, protection benefits. Now this next skin is called the Red Leather Chair. Um, even though it says Royal Recliner up there. But, um, okay, so when I first saw this skin, I thought, oh man, this is like actually going to be like a little royal chair but no it's kind of like a knockoff um it's for people who think they're fancy but really aren't just like <laughs> look at the back of it it's kind of silly um like the armrests are all worn down and cheap looking and then you know from far away the seat looks very cushiony but then when you get up close it's like oh yeah that's that's you know that's hard metal right there it's not cushiony <laughs> so yeah it's a pretty um cool little skin if you want to have a make-believe um king and queen and rust now, this next skin confused me when I first saw it because there is another water pipe called Rust Punk Water Pipe, but they have like different themes and colors and they look different, but um, I just thought it was strange. Like I saw Rust Punk, I'm like, didn't that skin already come out? Anyways, this skin is just basically a fancy uh, water pipe and I really like the um, base color blue with all the gold trimmings and the brown hardwood. Like, I don't know. This skin looks really nice, and I'm definitely going to purchase it after this video. Next up, we have a baseball helmet. Well, it's really called the Ruthless Riot Helmet. And I mean, this skin is honestly pretty simplistic. They just took out, you know, the glass and put some metal bars there. And then it's got a number with a red stripe and white stars down the middle. So if you're a fan of baseball and you want your Riot Helmet to look like a baseball hat or helmet, um, then yeah, just go ahead and get this skin. It looks fairly cool. Next up, we got something for all you rich Rust players out there, and it's called the Soviet Carpet. And right when I saw this, I thought of that royal chair that was um, showing earlier. And yeah, I think this one just looks just as good, um, but it actually looks really fancy. I just think this skin's, you know, a nice way to decorate your base in a fancy way. And it's a very, very well done skin. It's very detailed and will be good for any um, new castles in Rust. Next up, we got the Urban Vending Machine. And this is just basically like the helmet from earlier with all the graffiti on it. But I actually like this one better because it actually has some pretty cool artwork on it. Now, I just love like the little alien guy and he's like pointing his finger at the button. I don't know. I just love that. And then it's got these little 
like gopher little blob things down here. I don't know. It's just really cool. Oh my gosh, look at the back of it. It's got like a little red guy locked up in there. I just really like this skin. Um, it's like the better version of the helmet one we saw earlier. Now I do have one complaint and it's that like, I do wish it glowed in the dark. You know, like I said with the other graffiti skin, like it would just, it'd make it pop more. It'd look so much, it would just look even cooler. I don't know, like if some of the text is glow in the dark, it, I don't, it would just add to the skin's value, I think. And last but not least, we have the Western Water Pipe Shotgun. Now this skin is pretty cool. It basically just has a Gatling gun in the middle and it's like just thinned out a bit and then it has, you know, cracked wood for the handle. And I don't know, this skin's pretty simple and it does its job well. It's just a little Gatling gun. <laughs> but I would never think of the water pipe as a Gatling gun. So I just find this skin like kind of funny. Like who thought like zoo thick? Like, I don't know. I wouldn't have thought of that. Now, if you guys liked any of these skins, I would highly suggest to go and buy them right now because for the next week only, they're going to be a dollar fifty, and the price is going to go up from there. And also, even if you didn't like any of the skins this week, go ahead and, you know, just throw three bucks down on the two most popular skins, um, or the two skins that you think will be the most popular, and you can at least double or triple that money in, you know, a month because, as skins go on in their age, they get more and more expensive. So, you know, go ahead and do that if you want to make a quick buck. Thanks for watching.